दिस इज द सागर मुरली ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर ऑफ फेब्रुअरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू आर नाउ मेकिंग एफर्ट टू बिकम स्वांस यू नाउ हैव टू बिकम स्वांस डेट इज एज कंप्लीटली वाइसलेस एज लक्ष्मी एंड नारायण क्वेश्चन वट इज द ईजी वे टू गो फास्ट ऑन दिस पाथ ऑफ नॉलेज आंसर इन ऑर्डर टू गो फास्ट ऑन दिस पाथ ऑफ नॉलेज रिनाउंस ऑल अदर थाट्स एंड एंड ग्रोस योर सेल्फ इन हैविंग रिमेम्बरेंस ऑफ द फादर थ्रू विच योर सेंस विल बी एब्जॉल्व एंड ऑल द रबिस विल बी रिमूव Only the pilgrimage of remembrance is the basis of a high status. It is only through this that you can change from cells into diamonds. The father's duty is to change you from cells into diamonds, to make you pure from impure. The father cannot stay without doing this. Om Shanti. The father sits here and explains to you, children. In this world, some are swans and others are storks. Lakshmi and Narayan are swans, and you have to become like them. You would say we are becoming part of the deity community. The father would say you are becoming the deity community, and I am making you into swans. You haven't yet become complete. You have to become that. swans pick up pearls and storks pick up rubies we are now becoming swans this is why deities are called flowers and those others are called thorns you were swans and as you came down you became storks for half the cycle you are swans and for half the cycle you are storks There are many obstacles of Maya in your becoming swans. Something or other comes to make you fall. The main fall is due to body consciousness. It is at this confluence age that you children have to change. When you become swans, there are no others but swans. Swans, that is, deities, exist in the new world. in the old world there cannot be a single swan although there are sanyasis they are limited sanyasis you are unlimited sanyasis baba has taught you unlimited renunciation none of those of other religions become full of all virtues like the deities the father has now come to establish the original eternal deity religion You are the ones who first go into happiness in the new world. No one else goes into the new world. The religion of those deities has now disappeared. Only at this time do you listen to these things and understand them. No one else can understand them. All of those are human dictates. All of them are born through vice. In the golden age there is no question of vice. Deities are pure. There, everything happens with the power of yoga. Here, impure human beings do not know how children are born there. That is called a wiseless world. There is no question of wise there. When they ask how animals etc. are born, tell them there there is just the power of yoga. There is no question of wise. they are 100% wiseless we always speak of auspicious things so why do you speak of inauspicious things this is called a brothel and that place is called sevalaya brackets temple of seva se baba is carrying out establishment of that sevalaya se baba is the highest stone high tower they also make such tall towers in sevalaya bracket seva temples sev baba is making you into towers of happiness he is taking you to the tower of happiness 
This is why you love Baba so much. On the path of devotion too, you love Sib Baba. People go to a Sib Baba's temple with a lot of love, but they don't understand anything. You children are now becoming full of all virtues. You have not yet become full. Your examination will take place when your kingdom is fully established. Everything will end and souls will then continue to come down number wise, a few at a time. Your kingdom starts at the beginning. In other religions, their kingdoms do not start at the beginning. Yours is a kingdom. Only you children know these things. Some children went on service to Banaras. They have the intoxication of explaining to others. However, those people were not able to understand that much. It is remembered that only a handful out of multi millions would understand. Scarcely any become swans. If they don't become this, they will experience a lot of punishment. Some experience 95% and change by only 5%. There are highest and lowest numbers. No one now can call himself a swan. You are all making effort. When this knowledge comes to an end, the war will begin. You have to take the full knowledge. That war will be final. No one has yet become 100%. You now have to make the masses reach every home. A huge revolution will take place. All of those who have their own big organizations will begin to fluctuate. The throne of devotion will begin to shake. It is now the kingdom of devotees. You gain victory over them. It is now the rule of people over people and it will then change. It will then become the kingdom of Lachmi and Narayan. You will continue to have visions. In the beginning, many were given visions of how the kingdom continues. However, those who had those visions are no longer here today. Whatever is in each one's part in the drama, it will continue. We would not praise anyone for this. The father too says, how would you praise me? It is my duty to make impure ones pure. A teacher's duty is to educate you. Why would you praise someone who is only performing his duty? Baba says, I am also bound by the drama. So how can it be my power? This is just my duty. Every cycle at the confluence is I come and show you the path to become pure from impure. I cannot stay without making you pure. My part is accurate. I cannot come earlier or later by even a second. I play my part of service absolutely accurately on time. With every second that passes by, the drama makes me do something. It is beyond my control. There is no question of praise in this. I come every cycle. You call out to me, O oh purifier of the impure, come. People have become so impure. It takes so much effort to renounce each and every weakness. Even after staying pure for a long time, if you are then slept by Maya as you move along, you dirty your face. This world is Tamu Pradhan. Maya, the enemy, creates a lot of opposition. Sannyasis too take birth through vice. No one merges into the light. No one can return home. Each soul is imperishable and his part is also imperishable. So how can a light merge into the light? There are as many ideas as there are people. All of those are the dictates of human beings. There is just the one godly direction. There cannot be the direction of the deities here. Deities exist in the golden age. So these matters have to be understood very well. People don't know anything and this is why they call out to God, have mercy. 
द फादर सेज आई मेक यू सो वर्दी डेट यू बिकम वर्दी ऑफ बींग वर्सेप्ड यू आर नॉट वर्दी ऑफ बींग वर्सेप्ड नाउ यू आर बिकमिंग डैट नाउ यू नो डैट वी विल बिकम दिस एंड डैट वी विल दैन बी प्रेज ऑन द पाथ ऑफ डेवर्सन आवर टेम्पल्स विल बी बिल्ट यू नो डैट अ मेला ऑफ द गॉडस चंद चंदिका टेक्स प्लेस Chandi is someone who doesn't follow the father's srimat. Nevertheless, she definitely helped to make the world pure to some extent. This is an army. You experience punishment, etc., and still become the masters of the world. A native here would also say that he is a master of Bharat. Nowadays, on the one hand, they think that their Bharat is the highest land of all. and on the other hand they sing look at what the condition of bharat has become rivers of blood continue to flow in one record bracket song they have praise and in another in another record they have defamation they don't understand anything at all the father is now explaining accurately to you people don't know that god is teaching you they would say wonderful these people have made god their teacher oh but god speaks i make you into kings of kings it is just that by putting the name of a human being in the gita they have falsified the gita to say god shri krishna speaks means that they are human dictates how could sri krishna come here he was a prince of the golden age would he bother to come into this impure world only you children know the father but scarcely any of you also know him accurately jewels not stones should always emerge through the lips of you children ask yourself have i become like this although you want to come out of the rubbish quickly it cannot happen that quickly it takes time and you have to make a lot of effort those who explain are number wise explanation will later become very tactful your arrows will then strike you know that your study is now taking place only the one is teaching you you are all studying with him as you progress further you will see such fighting don't even ask many will die in the war so where will all of those souls go will they go and take birth together as the tree grows it has many branches twigs and leaves so many are born every day and so many also die no one can go back home the number of people continues to grow instead of becoming involved in these details first of all remember the father through which your sins will be absolved and the rubbish removed then there is nothing else don't think about those things first of all make your own effort so that you can become like them the main thing is the pilgrimage of remembrance and you have to give everyone the message there is just the one messenger even the founders of religions cannot be called messengers or preceptors only the one sadguru is the bestower of salvation however people on the path of devotion do reform themselves to such extent to some extent they make donations when they go on pilgrimages to they make donations so you know that the father is making you becoming like diamonds in this final birth this is called an invaluable life but you do have to make that much effort you would say it is not that my fault it is not my fault oh but i have come to make you beautiful so why do you not become that it is my duty to purify you so why are you not making that effort you have found the father who inspires you to make effort who made lakshmi and narayan like they were the world doesn't know this the father comes at the confluence age no one understands the things you say now however when you make further progress when many more people come to you they bracket sanyasis will lose their customers 
the father says i tell you the essence of those vedas and the scriptures there are so many gurus on the path of devotion in the golden age all are pure and then they become impure the father has now come and is inspiring you to have a limited renunciation because this old world is to end this is why the father says remove your intellects from this graveyard and remember me and your sins will be absolved it is now the time of settlement everyone's karmic accounts are to be settled all the souls of the world have their whole parts recorded in them a soul adopts a body and plays his part so souls are imperishable and their parts are also imperishable they cannot be any different they continue to repeat identically this is a big a limited drama it is number wise some do spiritual service and others do physical service some say baba if i become your driver i will also become a master of a viman there i mean and people think that this is now heaven for them they have big palaces and aeroplanes the father says all of that is artificial it is called the pomp of maya look at what they continue to study they build ships etc those ships etc are not going to be any or any of any use there they also manufacture bombs but those two are not going to be of any use there things that give happiness will be useful science helps destruction to take place the same science will also help you to build the new world this wonderful drama is predestined acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bap dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharna number 1 at this time of settlement you have to have a limited renunciation of this old world remove your intellects from this graveyard stay in remembrance and settle all your ka- old karmic accounts second constantly let jewels of knowledge not stones emerge through your lips become complete swans do the service of changing thorns into flowers blessing may you make this spiritual endeavor for an attitude of unlimited disinterest to emerge while doing service and become an embodiment of success you receive happiness and power by doing service and it is also in doing service that your attitude of disinterest finishes therefore awaken your attitude of disinterest just as you make service plans emerge in a practical way and there is then success in the same way now let your attitude of unlimited disinterest emerge no matter how many facilities you have attained do not let your spiritual endeavor for an attitude of a limited disinterest be become merged when there is a balance between the facilities and your spiritual endeavor you will become an embodiment of success slogan to make the impossible possible is a sign of god's love slogan to make the impossible possible is a sign of god's love Om Shanti